this thing run, I was like, wow, this is one of the sickest, nastiest sounding 70s, 250s, 74s, 250s I've heard. <laughs> everything's new in the motor. Um, the Kickstarter looks like it's NOS brand new. It probably is. Um, it's super tight. There's no flex in it at all. And I can say the same thing about every component on the bike that I've seen. It's uh, Everything's perfect. So you expect perfection out of a bike this nice. <laughs> You don't get the whole shot in a vintage national in a 250 class on this you fucked up because this thing is fast as hell this motor the guy who built it did it right everything's perfect the timing everything can you let anything you'd like to add I, I i guess it's only the way it runs is only surpassed by how beautiful it is and i guess you'd expect with a nut and bolt restoration this much care and glory put into this motorcycle blood sweat and and fat stacks of cash that it would run this good but i am thoroughly impressed so good luck bidding on it Kenny, anything you want to add? No. Uh, well, oftentimes we'll see restorations like this, and they don't run as good as they look. But that's that's that is took the case like with a, this thing. So. This thing took off like a rocket. So I love this bike. We're Have, not going to give it away, but if you want the best, buy this bike. <laughs> good luck bidding, and God bless. Give us a call: eight six zero four five four. 7024 asked to speak with Ken Jr. The captain from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I've got a bike that I hope someone purchases and leaves on display here in the museum because this thing is absolutely stunning. We've had over 1,500 motorcycles through the museum in the last four years, and I can tell you straight up, when this bike rolled in here, the guys in the shop, you heard, all you heard was wrenches dropping, and they were all like ooh and <laughs> on. And uh, Doc said, this is the nicest one he's ever seen. If you look at the fit and finish, the paint job on the tank is concourse fantastic beautifully well done the upholstery on the seat 
the fenders, the handlebars are brand new. All of the, um, the uh, levers, the grips, the cables, all the nuts, every nut and bolt on this is a true nut and bolt restoration. The shocks look like they just came out of the, out of the box. This looks like it just came off the Kawasaki catalog chute, okay? Um, the bottom of the frame rails are perfect. The, bikes, the pipe's in beautiful shape, the kickstand, the shifter, the pegs look brand new. The peg pins, the peg um, uh, springs, the carburetor, the cylinder heads, everything is concourse quality on this bike. This is the kind of bike you send to the Mecham auction and who knows what it'll bring. It could easily bring $10,000, $15,000 uh, if you get two guys who want this bike bidding on it. The forks are in beautiful condition. Tires are brand new. The engine's been rebuilt. A true nut and bolt frame up restoration that we couldn't do here at the museum for any less than five thousand dollars, just for the part, just for the labor and parts. And it could be considerably more. It could be seven, eight thousand dollars, depending on what kind of parts the bike needed. This one came to us exactly the way it is from one of our benefactors. Um, the chain and sprockets are new. The chain guide's perfect. Look at the quality. Kenny, I hope you're getting up and close on the nuts and bolts of this motorcycle. You can see everything is NOS new or new replacement, perfect condition, and it runs as good as it looks. Although this is a type of bike that's so nice, you often question the CMD, even riding a bike like this, it's that nice. I will do a quick demonstration. Uh, I don't want to wear the nubs off the tires uh, or beat on it or take it off-road. Uh, so I'm going to be very, very gentle with this bike. Look at the swing arm on it. Look at the paint on the swing arm. Look at the rims, look at the spokes, look at the, the adjusters, everything's brown, every nut and bolt on it, it's brand new or original perfect. Chains and sprockets, tires, tubes, everything. So again, a true world-class NOS condition Kawasaki KX250. I don't think I've, I've uh, overstated it at all. Uh, Kenny, is there like anything you'd like to add? No, it's, it's been a minute since we've had a, uh, a Cowie motocross bike from this era. I think the last one was a KX400. That was it was in good shape, but nothing like this. not even not yeah, even close to, the tank, but to this caliber. Not, this is a whole and, new uh, level. And, uh, I'm an AMCA judge. I'll be judging at the August 3rd in the AM Antique Motorcycle Club of America National Meet. I own the New England Motorcycle Museum. I've owned over 1,500 motorcycles just in the last four years. Okay, and I've been doing this for 40 years since I was 13 years old. I'm 53. I know what I'm talking about, right? from vintage Indians, but my specialty has been Japanese dirt bikes from the 70s because that's what my obsession was the first 20 years of my life. So um, I've got a PhD in these things, and this thing's gorgeous. Uh, I put this on par with any restoration I've seen yet. So enough flapping of the gums to get the idea from the photo shoot. I think a picture tells a thousand words. Uh, let me give you a quick demo of the bike running, and then we'll let the market determine what the value is. Hopefully it goes to a good home, someone appreciates it. If you want to leave it on display here in the museum, please do. Good luck being on it. God bless America.